and thanks for joining us this week on Chicago Sports. I'm your host Chase Charney as we're sitting down with three members of the Fort St. John Huskies, left wing Kale Bell, general manager Jeremy Clothier and assistant head coach Todd Alexander. And I'm joined now by Huskies left wing Kale Bell. Uh, Kale, tell me a little bit about how the first few practices went. They had a bit of a faster pace. How did you and the boys uh, feel uh, with that compared to practices last year? Uh, it's definitely a lot quicker. Um, I think it's going to definitely pay off in the long run when it comes later in the season and playoffs. Um, yeah, it looks good though. The first patch was a little bit rough, but it'll definitely get better as time goes on. Now, I guess, was that a bit of an uh, adjustment or did it catch you off guard the first session compared to what yeah. you used to in the past? Yeah, I was not expecting that uh, high tempo of the ice time, but it was good. It felt good to be when you were done. and. Yeah, like I said before, it'll pay off in the future. Now, I know for myself personally, uh, the training camp that just wrapped up uh, was one of the biggest turnouts that I've seen. I don't know about yourself. Uh, what did it mean uh, to you to, I guess, see so many bodies out there? And do you think that that might uh, result in a deeper team for this season? It's always nice to see a lot of guys in camp. Uh, obviously, not everyone makes the squad, but um, yeah, it helps the team get more fans and uh, it will make the team deeper. Now in the middle of September, uh, you have an, ex uh, an exhibition game against Dawson Creek followed by two against Vermillion over uh, the following weekend. Uh, what do you think that's going to do in terms of getting your club ready for the regular season starting in October? Well, in the past, we've had pretty slow starts to the start of the season. So I think getting uh, three games right, like, done right off the bat will help the team get together and build a little more chemistry before the season starts. And speaking of the season, I guess, what are your expectations of the club and uh, maybe yourself on a personal level even? Uh, for the club, pretty high this year. Uh, the team's looking pretty good. So I'm, I think I'm projecting that we should be we'll top three, if not number one. So a, it should be a good year. And uh, it was maybe it was maybe up in the air uh, over the off season, but it looks like now you're going to have Jordan Harder in the lineup uh, for the season. Uh, maybe talk about what uh, what he brings to the club. Ah, oh, he's a great player. Uh, brings a lot of good aspects to the game. School scorer, fun to play with. Uh, yeah, he's just overall a pretty good guy to play hockey with. So he's great to have him back. It's awesome. And what kind of team are you hoping to have on the ice? Speed, gritty, things of that nature? I think it'll be a lot of speed. A lot of speed, a lot of grit. A mixture of the two. I think it'll be pretty deadly this year. And speaking of that grit, I know that you lost a little bit of that with uh, losing Johnny on the back end. Uh, how do you make up for the loss of a guy like that? We got lots of young guys coming up that are pretty physical, so it will make up for that. But. Yeah, missing Johnny is pretty big, but I think we should be able to make up for that loss. And last one for you, I guess, what do you think was the biggest issue that was challenging the team last year and what has to change this upcoming season so that history doesn't repeat itself? Um, I think more just team focus, be on the same page. The team was pretty separated last year, so if the team's a little close this year, we will uh, have more success and play by... Pay the, pay, pay the way Todd wants us to play, and I think we'll be very successful this year. Thanks for joining me, Kale, and good luck this season. Thanks. Take care.